We're going to finish up our discussion of how to use the logical data class to test the state of MATLAB variables. Specifically, we're going to talk about what we call the is star mechanism. So if we look at is star, notice that that leads us to this thing called functions to detect state. Let's click on that documentation. This leads to a selection of functions that allow us to detect the state of MATLAB entities, but they're really a generalization of the is a function. Remember in our video about the is a function, we really focused on testing the data type used to store MATLAB variables. This allows us to do much more than just test for data type. So let's go ahead and look, is a is the first function in this list. The little star that comes along by doing shift eight, that is represented as a wild card in MATLAB. And so what this is saying is, this is an entire suite of functions that allow us to detect state is a is a simple example of that much larger suite let's go ahead and take a look at an example of the is diag function that's going to be a test to determine if a matrix is diagonal so this is a true false test and we're going to test is the matrix identity five by five a diagonal matrix matlab says the result of this test is a one in other words this matrix is indeed diagonal which is exactly what we see let's go ahead and take a look at a different one is empty so specifically let's go ahead and store an empty array and let's go ahead and take create a test is empty a so we're asking ourselves a question is the matrix a an empty array and in this case matlab is telling me indeed it is if i were to switch that and test let's store a as one and then run the test again matlab is saying no that is not an empty array because there's an actual element inside of that remember from our previous video we could test if a matrix was stored using the logical or floating point data so to do that we said is a a float and in that case it's yes but there's also this function called is float so i could test is float and just put in a and that would return a logical one which is what we see over here notice there's also something called an is integer test we can say is keyword remember we saw that in a previous video we actually tested is keyword that command by itself gives me a long list of keywords specifically 20 of those so stored using a cell array on the other hand i could use the is keyword to test specific variable names that i wanted to test so let's go ahead and said is keyword i'll go ahead and test my name is Jeff a reserved MATLAB keyword? MATLAB is telling me false, though it is not, so I can use that for whatever I want to. Notice there's one called is Mac, so I could set up a test. Is the current computer that I'm using a Mac? In this case, it's true because I'm on a Mac, but that would allow you to make code that runs a certain way on a PC and a different way on a Mac if you wanted to, right? Here's some other ones that I really wanna call out. There's one called is matrix that determines if the input is a matrix. There's one called is numeric, determines if you have numeric variables. There's one called is scalar, which determines if your input is a scalar variable. And then there's another one called is vector that determines whether or not your input is a vector. We're gonna see those are super useful in later projects where we're gonna create libraries of matrix functions and we're gonna do proper error checking by ensuring that the input to our self-written function is of the appropriate sizes. I don't want you to worry too much about that other than to remember that the is star has a lot of information on how to test the state of different entities. In other words, if you were coding up a function and you wanted to make sure that one of your inputs was a vector, a really good way to do that would be to, to use the is vector function provided on this list. In other words, when you're thinking about checking for errors in your code, you might want to detect the state of a certain entity in MATLAB. To do that, we can go to documentation and click is star, and that gets this long list of different detect states, each of whose outputs is a logical scalar, which is really just telling us whether or not the specific test we're running is true or false. That ends this video. In the comment section below, you're welcome to put your questions. Thank you so much for your attention, and I'll see you in the next video.